Good morning, everyone. Jeremy here from Flatware Creations. Uh, this is try number two. Uh, I ran my phone out of memory again, taking videos. So what I just made was this CZ fork uh, wind chime. You use some sugar spoons and some long forks. And it recorded, but there was no room to save it. So we're going to make another one. Because I have three more to make. So, uh, but this is just a regular fork, dinner fork. Uh, one of the things you want to watch out for is how low you get to turning here. So whenever you bend this over and you start to turn it back towards you, so it goes straight back and then comes around to the side, this little gap right here will often, um, if you get too low, it will crack on you. So like this one here, I had to be up a little bit higher. So there's a little bit more space between the bends. The other thing I do is I bend all my loops down. I was bending them up and from taking them in and out of the bags or getting them caught up in something, sometimes I've been able to get through a little tiny crack in there that wasn't completely sealed. So I've started running them all downwards, especially with the way I started tuning them. So um, I also put a twist in most of these just to give it a little character. To do that, I put it in the vise. With just the head of the fork in there. And then I'll take a big pair of pliers and I'll just twist. And whenever I'm twisting, I'm trying to keep the twist straight. And even if the twist doesn't stay straight, like this one, as long as the hole is over the center, you're okay. So this one bent way off to this side and I bent it back to where the hole was in line. But these are um, fun to make. You can twist them up. I've seen them, people zigzag them. Uh, I've made them a few different ways, but this is just one of the easiest. Um, once I get all the pieces ready, they all only need one thing, a hole in the top. Every piece that you're gonna use needs to have a hole in the top. So we have two forks, two spoons, and once I get this bent and those holes drilled, I toss everything in the tumbler. And if you don't have a tumbler, just polish that all up. And then I go on to making the beads. So what I've done here is I've pre-beaded um, the beads for these, which is nice because I can do this at another time. So I get all of my stuff in the tumbler and then I can pre-string these beads. So what these are, what these are, they are five, five inches, six, yeah, they're five inches. Uh, they're five inch pieces of Point three eight millimeter um, seven strand uh, beetle on wire model number right here JW02T one. Um, I go through a lot of these during wind chime season, but I tie my knot in it. Mm. I'm just going to use one of these. So I'll tie my knot like this 
and go through one, two, three, and then I'll pull it tight, try and get as close to my finger as I can, and then I'll pull it, take my needle nose pliers, and I'll pull it tight, and then I just snip the end off, and from that knot, I'll measure my five inches. Um, otherwise, you're gonna end up a little short. So these also are made from 45 pound uh, nylon coated wire. Um, I'm pretty sure it's leader wire or downrigger wire. Um, take a crimp, just like this one. Um, we're gonna put that on our wire. Put the wire through our top hole. And you can measure these out depending on how tall you want them to stand or hang. I guess about, I like about as high as the fork is tall. It's pretty close. And these get hammered. Some of the crimps you can just squeeze. And I'm gonna trim off the tag end here, this extra bit. I'll leave just a little bit hanging out. At this point, we get back to these. From that knot, which I have tied right here, I'll put a crimp on, I'll make a loop, and holding and holding my fingernail behind the knot, I'll bring it down to a nice little, little hole here that'll fit over a fork tine nice. And then I crimp it off. And what that allows me to do is I can make up a whole bunch of those. And then I just get my beads ready. So I have bead, crimp, my main bead, crimp, and then another bead. And then two crimps. And then I call these garbage crimps. They're crimps that I used to use a long time ago that I don't use anymore. And I'm slowly, slowly, almost through the last of them. Um, but this is just going to get cut off. That's why I call it just a garbage crimp. So we're going to put this on here. We've got our top piece. All we have to do now is slide these on. And let us zoom in here a little bit. What we're trying to do... Why are you being a nuisance camera? There you go. Uh... We just want to get the tip touching the fork. It doesn't need to be smashed down flat or anything. Just put the loop on there. And having all these beads pre-done makes things so much faster and easier. Just double check that you're down in all your spots. All right, so now you can either hang this up and crimp it or get your fork and spoon on there. But for me, it's generally easier to do it down here. So, first we're gonna take, clip off our tag, or that bottom crimp. Put our spoon or fork through or really anything that you want to hang 
Do you think it will bump together and make noise? So once I get these through, I just want to kind of find a nice height for them. Actually, I'm going to hang this guy up. It really helps for the tuning to be able to have it hanging. Clip off our tag end here. And we'll run these guys up, crimp them in place. And I like to go right to the opposite side so I don't get them mixed up. Get it back through both crimps. And I don't think you have to do two crimps, but I just find it it gives me more comfort knowing that it has more stability. And right now I'm just trying to get these to the same height. Snip off our tag end. And on to our forks. So these forks are pretty long, but I intend to uh, bend the tines and that's gonna help us get a little bit more sound and we're gonna be able to reach out a little bit further. So one you kind of want to measure where your spoons are. And I think that's about where I want that. And it may look a little longer than the spoons are, but once we bend those uh, tines up, so we don't have a whole lot of room there, but I like this little candy cane bead. Make sure you always hold on to your wire. and get them lined up. All right, so now the fun part. Now we get to tune them. So they sound okay right now, but just kind of hanging out, they're too far away. They don't really make any sound. So what I like to do on most of them is I'll drop my spoons down a little bit. And you can do this with pretty much any pair of pliers. I use my round nose or my graduated. My graduated pliers have this kind of half moon shape here. Um, and I've rounded off the edges. So what I do is I like to take that edge, slide it right up against my uh, curl there. And 
Yeah, we'll go for spoons. And I'll give it just a little bend. That's gonna help me help bring them closer together. So we have these guys kind of bent. That has brought these guys to within about an inch from each other. So they're a lot, a lot closer. This guy looks kind of lopsided. There we go. Okay. And you can bend your forks any way you want. I've seen people crinkle them or crisscross them. I normally do my little running man thing. I just like the way it sounds. So now there's barely any movement and they're touching, but everything to me kind of looks wonky. So I'll take my flat pliers, just going to straighten these guys out. You can already hear the sounds changing. This tiny little grease and you get those little sharp pitches in there and that is it if you want to tweak these a little bit more you can bend your fork pieces down uh, a lot of times I'll just tune with the forks themselves um, and get them to adjust you can bend the whole head over if you wanted to to get them in a little bit more you can bend these uh, there's a lot of things that you can play around and adjust them with uh, but there you go we're 18 minutes probably 10 minutes of prep depending on how many you do uh, but an easy project and i hope you guys all have a great day uh thumbs up uh, subscribe if you haven't yet and I hope you guys have a great day and keep making if you're new to our channel please hit subscribe also click the bell and select all so you get all of our updated videos as soon as they come out